In this quick video, we'll be covering one of the more boring aspects of iLearn, but is pervasive throughout the entire system, the text editor. The text editor is a feature that appears in multiple places inside of iLearn. One of the first places you may encounter the text editor is if you go and edit one of these section summaries. For example, I'm going to edit the section summary for section zero. You'll note that the text editor appears here. By default, only one row of tools is shown, and these are the more commonly used features of the text editor. I'm going to write something in here. So you'll see that by default, the font is just a normal font size. There is no formatting applied. What I can do is I can select this, and if I wanted to make it a heading, go to Paragraph Styles, which is the first button here, and select heading. You'll see that it automatically assigns the heading style to this particular bit of text. I'm gonna keep typing here. Now, if I wanted to make sample course, for example, bold, I would highlight it and select bold. Text Editor works pretty much the same way that it does in any text editing program that has formatting tools available. You can highlight an item and apply some formatting to it. Things like bulleted lists can be selected. So if you go ahead and select a bulleted list, you can see that as I'm typing things, the bullets are automatically applied. If I press enter twice, it removes me from that bulleted list and I can continue typing as normal. Numbered lists work exactly the same way. So I'm going to add a numbered list. One of the neat features of the iLearn text editor is this templates feature. So I'm going to go ahead and add a template. When I click on the templates button, I get this prompt, this templates for you. I can select a template and we have a few pre-constructed templates in here. In this case, I'm going to select a highlighted quote. And uh, when you select a template, it explains what that particular template is designed for. In this case, the highlighted quote is designed to call out a specific quote for someone. So I'm going to insert that and uh, I can just start typing my quote here. And again, if I uh, press enter after the text, it'll exit me out of that particular item and I can continue typing as normal. One of the things to be aware of with the text editor is that there's actually two rows of tools. If you click on the show more buttons button, which is the first button here on the first row, you'll see the additional tools that are available. And here you have undo, redo, alignment, and uh, in indenting this one, for example, if I wanted to indent this, I can click on the indent and it'll move it over one. Then there's this, uh, the equation editor, and uh, I'm not going to go full into detail with this, but uh, this is a feature inside of iLearn that lets you type in a particular formula uh, using operators, arrows, Greek symbols, uh, and more uh, directly into the text editor. And it actually displays it as a full featured uh, formula if you need that functionality. One thing that many people ask about is the ability to do tables. So there is a table tool. Uh, it's this calendar looking grid. If I add a table, it's going to ask me for a caption and how many columns and rows. So go ahead and enter a caption. I'm going to leave it at the default. And you'll see that it adds uh, the table as I sort of requested it there. Finally, and a feature that I am going to point out is this paste special. So one of the unfortunate things with how uh, Microsoft Word works is that Microsoft has tried to make it so that any formatting that you have in your Word document will get copied over into iLearn. 
The problem is that sometimes the formatting that Microsoft uses is unfortunate and causes uh, some breakage. So I'm going to bring in a sample Word document here. So this is this is what my Word document looks like. If I wanted to copy, for example, this, and you'll note that there's a heading in there. I'm going to go ahead and select Copy. And when I go back here to iLearn, what I want to use is Paste Special. And Paste Special, uh, if I click on the button here, will give me a box where I can paste in the content. And then it's going to ask me where this content comes from. In this case, I'm going to say paste from Microsoft Word. And what this does is it converts the Word formatting into the closest thing it can find inside of iLearn. And you can see that it's not totally perfect. Um, so you can adjust it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Complete Paste. And you'll see that it pastes the content into my box here. This is going to be the best way for you to get content from a Word document into a text box if that uh, is needed. So I mentioned that the text box and the text formatting tools appear pretty much everywhere inside of iLearn. So I'm going to open this uh, assignment, for example. I'm going to edit settings. And you'll notice that the description field has the text editor in it. And this is pretty much the case anywhere where there's a text box inside of iLearn. The same exact tools appear everywhere. The last thing I'll mention about the text editor is that the text editor actually has iLearn video built into it. So when you're adding a new discussion topic, and this is a test, there's this iLearn video button. And when you click on iLearn video, it'll give you the interface to upload a video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, find a video to upload. Uh, let's say this welcome video. And we'll be going more into detail on iLearn video later on in the course. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. And you'll see that it pops it in here. And uh, same as before, if I press enter, I can start typing underneath it. And post a form. So we called the test just to see what it looks like. And you see that the welcome video has just popped in here. So that about wraps it up for the text editor. More information on the text editor is below in the text editor document.